one of the scariest things, but also one of the more higher level goals that active elders have is getting on and off the floor. So the question, what do I do if I fall? How can I get down on the floor to play with my grandchildren? How do I garden? All of those kinds of things that you don't wanna lose in your functional daily life. So the best way to get on the floor is to come into a standing position but make sure that you have a chair kind of nearby because that's gonna be your crutch for getting up again, okay? So I'm gonna have you face the chair, so turn around. And then use that chair, put your hands on the chair. Use that to lower yourself down onto one knee and then the other. So it's nice and controlled. Very good. And then you kind of go on to all fours. And then whatever position, whether it's sitting or laying down, you can just kind of maneuver to the position you wanna be. Yep, and then he's gonna come down because he wants to lay down. He does cervical traction every day, so he has to do this. So, very good. And then, in order to get up from the floor, you make sure that you're not injured if you had a fall, of course, okay? But you go to the hook line position, bringing your knees up. Use this to brace and bring this arm over so that you have some momentum for rolling onto your side, okay? And then he is quick. He's so good at this. You <laughs> roll onto your side, and then you work toward getting on all fours. You can go ahead. Then from all fours, you just kind of make your way back to your chair as your crutch. Good job. And then you use the chair to push up. So you bring one foot onto the floor, and then push up using your hands and your feet. And then he's ready to sit. Good job, <laughs> good job.